Just want to tell everybody Happy New Year. This will be the first video of the new year. I got something here. I'm cleaning up. That's what I'm doing. Because everything's been such a mess from this and that and the other and all the other stuff that we do. And uh, Yesterday we done a bunch of machine work, but I didn't film any of that. Because uh, I was making a teat nut for Michael's lathe and stuff like that. And, uh, well, there was just a bunch of us in here and we were moving a lot. This is not set up for filming. It just, it really isn't. I set this up for doing machine work. Uh, and had I known I'd be filming later on in life, I would have probably set it up different. Uh, we get some of this stuff cleaned up, moved around. I may, I may reorganize the shop to make it easier to to do the filming but nonetheless we're filming regardless but uh i was fixing to do something <clears throat> and i thought well i might show y'all this see if y'all y'all like it or whatever uh i've got something i want to do here i've got uh i've got the camera up pretty high I don't know how well y'all could see. This is a little 350 Husqvarna. Yes, I know the muffler's gone off of it. I'm going to build this into a little hot rod. Y'all get to see that later. But one of the things that I'm wanting uh, is I want a large, I want a large felon spike on it. And uh, I'm going to try to move y'all in here where y'all can see this. Uh, this is one I got for a, for a steel. It's made by Farmer Tech. And it don't fit. So, I was going to show y'all. This is, and now I haven't tried to do this yet, so I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. But I'll show you the process of how I go about this. Now, the first thing. The first thing I'm going to do is set this up here like this. And I can already see that the holes won't line up. So, this is some of the ways that I do things. Alright. You see how that sticks down? Well, this sits in a, <clears throat> in a little groove. So, I need a little notch right in here. So, I want to try to get it as tight as possible to let it set against it. Uh, I'm just going to set this up here like this and make a little mark on it. See what, uh, see what we can get done with that. Now... See the little notch I got marked on there? I'm going to go notch it and I'll be right back. All right. So I got a little notch cut out of that. I just kind of smoothed it out. Let's see if we got her. Oh, oh, I believe that'll fit. It will. gonna show y'all we're gonna go somewhere about right there snug it up I just want to see how it sits on the table oh yeah that's gonna be all right you like the looks of that I do now, <clears throat> now, how are we going to get this down here? Well, I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to saw this off on the bandsaw. I'm going to saw it off. I'll sand this a little bit smoother. Then I'm going to bolt this tab right here to the saw. I'm going to walk back there and weld it to it. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that off. Bolt it on there. I'm going to tack it on this side. 
Then I'll take it off, weld it from the back side, grind it back smooth, and put it on there. So, let me take y'all for a walk. Y'all want to go with? Here, let me unplug it so you can see the rest of the see the rest of this. Here, let me. Sorry, y'all's legs are a little too. Too long. Bring you back here to the to the bandsaw. We're gonna take this thing and go right up against it right there. It. Turn you around here. Kind of blend it in. Nothing spectacular. Just see, there's a little bit of an angle there, so I just blended it so it's kind of smooth. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to give it just a little bit of a just a little bit of an angle or a chamfer right there. I don't know exactly where it's gonna go, so but, but that's where that's where it's gonna be your oh, should have hit this too. I'm not going to go through the trouble of grinding that off and trying to smooth it up real smooth because I want a little bit of a gap. That way I can weld it solid. Now, I got to be careful with y'all because I got y'all sitting on a precarious, precariously perched location. Now, how do we want to do this one? Like this, or like that? Now, As you can see, that is on there, but it's not exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap this one up just a hair because I just snugged it. That's, that does pivot on there now. It's actually sticking out just a bit farther than I'd like for it to be, but it looks good and level. <clears throat> so I might just go with that. It looks level along the front of the case. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm just going to go back there and tack her together. I don't know if y'all can tell. Just, just a little bzzit, bzzit. Just a little light tack. Enough to hold it together. Because obviously it's, this is a plastic case saw. On the mag saws, you don't have to worry about quite as much. But this is not a magnesium saw. It's a, 
Now, I'm actually going to take my, I'm thinking about taking my grinder and just opening this up just a smidge back here. Just so I can get a, a good deep all the way through weld. <clears throat> it's probably not necessary, but ah! it ain't going to hurt nothing. y'all can't see it if, even if I try to show it to you so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished all right hey y'all can see I went ahead and left some of the weld on there and I left some on the front side too I'm not concerned about whether it looks original or not that's not that's not something I care about you can uh, you can weld it a little you can weld it in there and grind on a little bit more. And I have. I do some sometimes that you can't even tell they're not factory. But this one, I personally am not concerned whether it looks factory or not. I just want it to look cool. <laughs> it stands up off there a little bit. Is it practical? It may be. It may not be. This, this is a saw I'm building for me to play with. That's all it's for. Uh, it's a 350 Husqvarna right now. It's going to get a, a Warhawk 346 uh, top end and stuff. It's just going to be a, a, a saw for us to play with and stuff like that. It's just going to be a play saw, so... You know, it'd be one of them things. Uh, I figure everybody like I may cut that bottom one off just a smidge, get it a little closer to the, because it it could stand to be a little bit smaller. But nonetheless, this is a quick and dirty on how to uh, get you a custom dog if you've got a saw that you don't have a dog. <coughs> uh, the easiest way to do it is just just find something and hold it up there close to get to looking at it, whatnot. Uh, I have taken some before and just took the, the one that fits it and just cut some of it off and just weld another dog on it. Uh, it all depends on what you want. Uh, I'd say that right there is going to suit me just fine. I'm probably going to run a 16, 18 inch bar on this saw. Uh, probably three-eighths LP for fun. All right, y'all. Uh, just remember, this is for fun, so don't get all excited. This is an easy way to get you a dog on there. Uh, you can you can lay that dog on another piece of metal, trace it out, and cut you out a dog, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> but uh, that's the... That's the way I go about it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a happy new year. Uh, just want to thank everybody for coming. Enjoying, liking, subscribing. We're almost 10,000 subscribers. I got to get to building a 10,000 sub giveaway saw. And uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, Hopper stock is supposed to be coming up May the 20th of this year. I got to get with Brennan 100% and put it out there. So, Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. And if you haven't, tell somebody about Jesus. God bless. Bell Hopper out.